How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech and also to my little quick look at the Raydragon Shiva K512. Uh, so it is currently retailing for around $37. It's not necessarily going to uh, be the uh, best keyboard on the market. It is a membrane keyboard. It, it is mostly plastic, but at that $37, it's honestly not too bad. Now, firstly, starting off with the material first, like I mentioned before, it is mostly plastic, so it does have quite a, a bit of a flex. However, it doesn't feel too cheap. I have felt other keyboards that felt a lot cheaper and felt like it will break a lot quicker than this one. Now included with the keyboard as well is this magnetic plastic palm rest which just snaps in like that. It's it's a nice inclusion. Uh, I do like it when they do include uh, palm rest. However, uh, it is mostly plastic and I do feel like it's a bit too short. It should have been a bit longer just to support your wrists a bit more. That's also what I found with some other keyboards where they do include palm rates, it's just a tiny bit too short, about a centimeter or two extra would have been ideal. And uh, plastic, it, it's okay, it is a bit textured here, but yeah, it, it's up to you what you personally do prefer, uh, palm rest without a palm rest. So you do have that. Now quickly underneath the keyboard, you do have your flip out keyboard feet here at the top. Uh, they are, uh, they do have rubberized textured grips of both when flipped out and then flipped down. So you do have those and it does do a mm, okay job at keeping the keyboard at a single spot. But if you are going to be rough with it, it is going to move around. Then next up for the switches, like I mentioned before, these are membrane switches. So you don't unfortunately get any mechanical ones. Uh, membranes are okay. If you do like them, you do like them. What, what's nice about, about the membranes are that they are silent and yeah, that's pretty much it. They do have their place. If you do like them again, then of course, there you go. Now, uh, they do feel pretty decent. They do have that kind of a pudding feeling, uh, if you know what I mean. So they're, they're decent enough if you want something silent or you like the membranes, then of course, there you go. However, it just kind of makes me just feel like I do want a mechanical keyboard just because the feeling is so much better with the tactile feel or just that satisfying key press. This one just doesn't have anything to it, but that's the same with any membrane switches really. Now the Shiva does also feature 26 key anti-ghosting. So all of these keys with the lines underneath the text does feature anti-ghosting. So you can press them as many times as you want uh, in concession, but the other keys do not. So, However, there was one big problem that I had with the Shiva and that is that the space bar, you guys will probably be able to hear that the space bar, actually the spring bounces back and it's actually quite loud and annoying. So, hopefully you guys can hear that. So it kind of vibrates after you've pressed it and it actually vibrates the entire keyboard and you can hear that. So uh, I, I hopefully this is just my model that has this issue. Usually I have bad luck with early samples where even some of the other large brands, uh, I sometimes get a, a bit of duds. So I'm sure if it is a problem, they'll be able to fix it. And if you do get a sample like this, then just return it because that should be able to uh, be a liable for a return on the warranty because yeah, that, that's not good. Now as for the keycaps, they are kind of removable. Now I haven't really heard that you would replace <laughs> your membranes, keyboards, keycaps with other ones, but maybe, maybe you can. Um, I wouldn't necessarily, especially at the price point. Uh, however, the keycaps, they do have a very smooth, more rubberized textured feeling. However, uh, I don't know if you guys can already see it. It does pick up fingerprints quite easily, but the text shouldn't fade uh, after a while. It is, uh, it's not double shot, but it, it's, it's decent enough. Uh, and then also the text is actually quite, the font is actually pretty 
uh, standard as well. Nothing too too gamery going on here, which is sometimes just a tad bit much. Uh, if they do add like crazy fonts. Now some more controls that you get on the keyboard. Of course you do get your media controls here at the top, your volume and mute buttons, and then also your music controls here, play, pause, skip, and so on. Now the buttons don't feel the greatest. It's a bit mm, a mushy, plasticky, so I'm not too crazy about those. I would have liked if it was more of a standard feeling a switch. But at least you do get them. You do also have your FN functions here at the top. So if you wanted to, you can control your audio through that as well. There's play, pause, skip there. There's calculator, lock key, your home key. Uh, all of the standard ones that you usually get. But along with that, you do also get a six G keys for your macros. So uh, you can go program them on the keyboard itself. All you need to do is press the record button, select the key that you would want. It's going to start flashing or quickly flashing once you have selected that. Then you can type whatever you want and then just press the record button again. And then you have that set up. So pretty simple. Now, as for the RGB, as you guys can see, it does look pretty good. I do actually have quite a bit of lights shining on the keyboard. Uh, so if it's a bit darker, a bit later at night of your room, it's just not as bright as mine, you can actually see it quite clearly. And thanks to the uh, back, the clear back plate, it actually does help diffuse the light even more, making it shine through a lot clearer. So I do like it when they do include that. Sometimes if they don't include that, you can just see it through the keys and that's just kind of a bit boring. So it's a nice addition. Now you do have seven different colors throughout the keyboard. Unfortunately, it's not full 16.8 million colors, but seven colors there. Uh, and then also you do have six pre-programmed effects. So you all have these on the insert to page and down keys. All you need to do is press the FN key. And then for the first one, you do get your color cycle, which is going to cycle through all of the different colors. You do have your speed that you can add as well if you wanted to. Just gonna make it a bit faster, your brightness, a few levels are there. But for the next effect, you get your static color. So once you tap it multiple times, it's going to cycle through these seven different colors. So you can choose if you want to have a just a static color there. Then next up, you have your third effect for the page up. Now this is a six zone color effect that you can go and set yourself. So, so then just go press it again. And with the FN function key and then the numbers, you can select what zone you're going to use, uh, all of those number one, two, number six. So you can play around with that and select the key you want. Once you're done, just press it again and it's going to save that. So you can select your own colors if you want to, but it's only six zones, it's not full. Then next up you have your fourth effect, which is your rainbow wave effect, which is just my favorite. You can also speed it up or make it flicker a bit if you wanted to. With, by pressing it again, but otherwise just keep it static. And then next up you have your fifth effect, which is just your breathing. Now it is going to breathe in and out of the different effects. So if you do like one that you want to stick with, you can just press it again. So green, press it, and it's gonna stay with the green effect and breathe in and out of that. Uh, or you can just leave it like it's going to cycle through all of the different colors. Then the last one is the react effect. So if you tap, on it is going to light up. So that is pretty simple as well. But of course my favorite is just the rainbow wave effect. So in conclusion, just from using the keyboard for a bit, it's pretty standard. It's a membrane keyboard. I'm, I'm not too big of a fan of membrane keyboards, but for the price point, it's pretty decent. Now, the biggest issue that I have, probably the only issue that I have is with the space for that the, the spring rattles back. That is super annoying and kind of makes it that I'm honestly not going to use it again. So hopefully they fix that. Uh, if you do buy one and it does have the problem, just send it back. Uh, you should be able to get a return on that because that is not right. Uh, but other than that, it is pretty decent. Uh, you, you, you do get a decent lighting as well. It's a membrane keyboard. So if you'd like that, you like that. You do have 6G keys, you have your media controls and so on. It's, it's a standard RGB membrane gaming keyboard. 
However, for the price point at the $37, you can start to get some mechanical keyboards. Sometimes you can get them with RGB. I know like the Red Dragon Vara and the Kamara. Uh, they're also usually quite affordable and they might just be slightly, I think around $40 or even at the same price point, or I even know the uh, Vara, the, the, the standard version, the, the shorter version, sorry, the 10 keyless one uh, for the just single color is going for around $30. So that's a, a full mechanical keyboard. It's just not RGB, but you do have the option of other uh, RGB versions as well, which just costs a bit more. So honestly, I would rather go for something like that, but it's pretty it's pretty good if you can get it for a good price. So that's pretty much it for my review of the Red Dragon Shiva uh, K512. If you guys enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, I will also leave the links in the video description if you want to get one for yourself. So anyway, big thanks to Red Dragon for sending this keyboard over. Um, and I will check off you guys next time. Cheers, guys.